Hello, friends. How are we doing tonight? Daedric, welcome, welcome. It is Tematam. I don't know if you've seen my new model. New model, new, new, new Tema. It looks phenomenal. Yep, yeah, a 2D model, 2D model. I'm no longer a bouncing blue um, PNG. I am now a wiggly um, 2D person. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yeah, give me a second. We'll uh, we'll take a we'll take a gander. How are you doing? doing well hope you're doing well but yeah give me a second and uh, we'll, we'll show it off here <laughs> getting some 6 30 p.m coffee because you're a functioning adult i'm uh, i'm doing okay i've had a bit of a rough couple weeks um outside of stream streaming has been great these last two weeks outside of streaming not so great but that's okay that's life actually switched up my coffee brands to I think it's called select or something like that it's okay I was I, I was I'm, I'm very basic when it comes to coffee I, I, I usually drink Duncan but they were trying to charge like almost ten dollars for a bag for a for a bag of what I usually get um when it used to be like seven bucks so I just switched up coffee brands it's actually not bad it's not bad I don't, I, I try to avoid caffeine after around 5 or 6 p.m. though, myself. Uh, some people, like for me, it's, caffeine actually works on me. Like, if I drink caffeine late in the evening, I do have a hard time sleeping. I'm not, like, awake though. I'm still tired. I just can't sleep. <laughs> yeah, Duncan is trying to rob me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. For 10 bucks, yeah, you should, yeah, you should definitely be getting some really good coffee for that. And, I mean, Duncan, it's it's okay. I don't I don't knock Duncan, but it's not ten dollars worth. It's not worth ten dollars at all. Welcome, welcome. Let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, switch scenes here. Uh, I also um, got a new starting soon screen. It's pretty basic, but I like the um, I like the minimalist kind of look, and the music is a is a banger. So let's switch it up. Uh, hello. Oh, I did not move my chat over. Hold on. I can move myself over though. How do I do that? What? Yeah, there we go. It's me. The man's anime. I am indeed. I've gone I've gone anime. I've yep. Atlas!
Welcome, Atlas. The bureau knew. The bureau knew you were watching. Give me one second here. Give me one second. Still getting a little. Still getting set up. Still getting set up. Welcome in. Atlas will be, uh, oh, hey, yo. <laughs> Now I sub at the man that gives subs. Let's go. Thank you so much. Um, I am. I, I will be commissioning some new emotes, by the way, uh, very soon. Uh, I, I, I'm really looking forward to some nice emotes. I do like my emotes right now, but I've got some uh, some more in the pipe, and I'm trying to get some more sub points so that I could. Uh, I do have some animated emotes ready already. They're in the pipe, ready to go. Uh, let me give a let me give out Atlas a so Atlas is about to make a comeback. I got the photo. Fuck yeah, titties. Mm. Titty milk. Ooh, a phasma. <laughs> what was that clip? <laughs> Oh, you don't want me to call the comeback. You've been here for years. Is that what you're saying? Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> All right, let's get into some Phasmo, shall we? But yeah, this is me. I'm a. I am. I've, I've gone anime. Gone anime. Um, I'm a. Uh, well, I always was a captain, but now I've got my nice, full uniform. It's, you know, beautiful single bre or double breasted. Excuse me. Double breasted jacket. It's based off of the White Star Lines uniforms of uh, of Titanic of old. Um, this is uh, the service uniform that officers would wear on duty, uh, typically. Love me a man in uniform, thank you. Um, this is what they would wear on duty, typically. They would uh, sometimes wear a great coat over it that would be... Um, so this, you know, this coat goes down to the waist. They, have, they would wear a great coat that would go down to, like, the knees. Not quite a trench coat that would go all the way down to the ankles, but um, a nice, heavy winter coat. This would be their... Um, service uniform they'd wear in um, temperate weather or cold weather. They had a lighter uniform that was all white. It would be a tunic, single-breasted with no shirt, no tie um, underneath. Um, it was a much lighter uniform that they would use in, during the summer. And um, they had a, a, a mess dress that they would wear, which was also a white uniform, but it was um, like a, almost a tuxedo uniform that they would wear for um, special events or if they were to dine in the first class section of the ship, the captain were, might wear that. Um, though I, th I don't think he wore that at all. Um, captain Smith, I don't think, wore his um, service uniform at all when the Titanic, uh, on the Titanic's only voyage. Uh, I think he always wore his, uh, his, his uh, I'm sorry, he always wore his service uniform. He never wore his mess uniform, his white uniforms. So, I, I will at some point get more, more clothing. <laughs> I do have a color change on this. Uh, I think is that the right key? Is that the right key? Did I hit the right. Yeah, there we go. Um, so I do have it in my in the blue that I had previously on my PNG. Um, the blue, the the white star did not have navy blue uniforms. They had black or white uniforms and variations on those two black and white uniforms. Um, but I like this blue color. It works well if 
I'm gonna, gonna be playing a particularly dark game. So why I went blue with the PNG was for that reason, it, it works for all backgrounds. Whereas the, the darker one, I can kind of fade out if it's a really, really dark game. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get into Phasma though. Let's, uh, let's get this party started. I hope my audio is okay. I've been making a lot of tweaks to stuff. I don't know how well this stream is going to go because I, I changed a number of things. I did a little bit of testing uh, today, but I didn't have the benefit to test too much, as much as I wanted at least. Uh, let me, you know, move out of the way though. There we go. Thank you again for the sub. I really do appreciate it. Um, we're, we're trying to get those sub points up and unlock, unlock us a new animated emote. So that's going to be awesome. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let me do a quick sound check. How does the game sound? How do I sound? How does chat sound? I think we're balanced. Sounds grand. Good. Thank you. Yeah, if, if, if anything's weird, let me know. Because like I said, I've been changing a lot, hence the stream title. I've been making a lot of changes, trying to get things. Um, it'd sound even better if I could find my phone. <laughs> I've been changing a lot of things, uh, being very aggressive, more aggressive than I normally am with change. Um, I usually am pretty, pretty deliberate with change, so I don't change too much. But I've been pretty aggressive to try to get things the way, the way I want them. Though I never will. I will always be. I I always like to tinker. I'm a tinkerer. I tinker and I break stuff, and then I try to fix it. But welcome, welcome. I don't have all my redeems on, but I do have some redeems on. So feel free to avail yourself of them. Um, speaking of which, let me, uh, before I forget, socials, there they are. Feel free to join the Discord. I hope at some point to, to do some Discord, like, movie nights or something like that. That'd be the, that'd be the meta. But yeah, there they are. Um, if anyone wants to join in, there is a join the hunt, uh, redeem. I don't know how many points. I think it's 500 points. Um, that should take almost no time to get. So if you don't have 500 points, it, you'd get it very quick. Especially if you're subbed, it's much faster. You get 350 points for um, following. So it takes like an hour to get 500 if you don't already have it. But I think um, if anyone wants to play Atlas, if you want to play... Um, Dietrich, if you want to play, let me know. I'll let you in. Ain't nothing. I do that. I, I set the uh, the points barrier to uh, so people can catch the vibe. So people can catch the vibe. Um, it's not an 18 and up stream, so I don't want people coming in and being sussy baka, as sometimes they do. So yeah, feel free to avail yourself of the redeems. There's also a redeem to pick the map. There's redeems to um, make me play nightmare mode. I've turned off a couple redeems um, just because I'm not feeling them right now. But sometimes I have a redeem that, that forces me to lose items. You can tell me to lose my flashlight or throw out my lighter or something else like that. I also have an item randomizer, but I don't have that on right now because I just wasn't feeling it. I also haven't played too much Phasmo, so um, I haven't gotten the, the, the feel of the, the new ghosts yet. Alright, we're here. Take a look at the equipment and prepare accordingly before starting the investigation. I've also written some notes on the whiteboard mm -hmm. if you need them. <clears throat> Let's see. What do I want? I want a flashlight, a strong flashlight. I want me a cam. EMF reader. Who are we dealing with? Corey Wilson. And the power top right hand corner there, that's the master bedroom closet. So we're going to go hit that. Of 
Corey Wilson. Are you here? Sometimes the tarot cards will spawn here, so I like to take a quick gander. Sometimes the um, do, 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 music box will spawn here. Tarot cards can also spawn here. They do not. So when you walk in, this is one of the more reliable hiding spots if you need to hide. Um, this is also a hiding spot over here. So the laundry room is, is doubly buffed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the light. So if we need to hide, we have a hiding spot right away. And if I don't have my flashlight, which I often don't have my flashlight, I can see. Get the power turned on. Sometimes the Ouija board will spawn in this room right here on the floor. What's this ghost name again? Corey something? Corey in the house? Corey Wilson. So, yeah, now, now the power's on, the light comes on. Oh, just played piano. Here to go bunk. So let's run over here. Here's here. EMF2. Can we get this picture? I don't know if we can get that picture. Yeah, tier 3 picture, nice. Hello. Um, Jup, Jup Gamer? Jup Gamer, is that how you say that? Let me know if that's how you say that or not. I think we got our ghost room here. I think it's in the living room, at least it played the piano. So real quick, we're gonna look around for the bone, and we're gonna look around for the uh, cursed object. Just Jup. Welcome in, Jup. How are you doing? Hope all is well. Can I play with you? I don't talk a lot. Um, you can. We do have a redeem to join in. Um, it does take a little bit to get, but um, yeah. If you want to join, we are playing with. We do play with viewers. Thank you for the follow. That should get you some uh, some points here. You should be able to join in not too long. I said that so that people can catch the vibe. Uh, we are not we are not an 18 and up stream. So we are we are a PG stream. So I just want people to catch the vibe, see how things are going before they join in. But yeah, you'll probably you should have enough points here in a hunt or two to jump in. Welcome, welcome, and thank you again for the follow. I appreciate you. Hope the stream is looking good. I've made a ton of changes as of late. Um You know, it looks like my, 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 my lip tracking is not working very well right now. That's okay. Oh dear. MF3. Uh, we still haven't found the bone. So real quick, we're going to take one more sweep for the bone. Then we're going to check sanity. So we've been inside for a little while hiding here. Don't see the bone. We'll have to go look for it again. Alright, let's do a sanity check. See where we're at. Hmm. Yeah, that does not really look like an EMF-5 on the board. Got okay sanity, not great, not terrible. Maybe prevent it from hunting. Witness to ghost event. So let's get a few things in there real fast. Before I do that, what is so we need to figure out what the Deogens. The Deogen I've encountered a few of them. They kind of scare me a little. Spirit box, ghost writing, dodge projector. So this, those things we need to eliminate. Deogens aren't too scary, it's just kind of scary not knowing if it's a Deogen. Mm. 
probably should have spent a little bit of time looking for ghost orbs, but it's okay. Some weird glare. Little beer can is moving there, and oh, we got dots. We saw some dots, so let's uh, add dots. So we still have the Diogen. Thay. I forget what the what the Thay's ability is. Thay, Thay, Thay. Rapidly age. Okay, so the Thays are really, really fast. Uh, the Thays have been known to rapidly age over time, even in the afterlife. From what we've learned, they seem to deteriorate faster while within the presence of the living. Strength upon entering location, they will become active, defensive, and agile. Weakness. Um, Thays will weaken over time, making them weaker, slower, and less aggressive. So they hunt very aggressively, and they're very, very fast. Almost... Um, I actually think they are Raichu max speed fast. They're not Revenant speed, but they're very, very close. And then as time goes on, um, they slow down, They age, the ghosts age, and they deteriorate. If you have a Ouija board, you can apparently ask the age of the ghost, and the ghost's age will change throughout the match if you have a Ouija board. So that's on the board. The Diogen is the ghost that um, really need to figure out because it's a ghost that always knows where the um, sort of where the hunters are, so you can't hide from it. You have to you have to kite it. So uh, we have dots. We need to roll out spirit box and orbs. Is that right? Spirit box and writing. I'm sorry. We do have a book in there though. So we're gonna double crucy this ghost. Hopefully it doesn't kill us. It very well may. One creasy there, put one creasy there. Actually don't like that creasy position, but that's okay. Where are you? I'm here. Oh. Do you have to be can you be somewhere else, please? Alright, so we have a spirit box which doesn't help us against the Diogen. It's looking more Diogen y. We have Wraith, Phantom, Yokai, and Diogen. Yokai's um, the more you talk in the room, the more likely it is to hunt. Wraiths, they can teleport to you. They're the only ghosts in the game that can actually teleport. They also, um, that's only, that's non-hunting ability. They can't do it while you're hunting. But they can teleport to you, so if you're walking around with the EMF and all of a sudden you get EMF uh, without any, like, anything happening, no things being moved, um, no doors opening, anything like that, you might have a wraith. Wraiths also... Uh, they don't leave footsteps in salt, so we can do that test here in a second. In fact, let's go ahead and do that now. So we're going to grab that, that, and um, another camera. We'll do our wraith test. So the wraiths, when they step in salt, they don't leave any feet. Oh, turn off the power. Good on you, good on you. Can you step in the salt, please? Where are you? Yokai's also do have an early hunt ability if you, um, If you're talking in the ghost room, wait, am I thinking of, yeah, no, that's a yokai. If you're talking to the ghost, hello, ooh, okay, disappeared as soon as I took a photo, so the ghost isn't in the ghost photo, so that means it's almost certainly a phantom. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the book, and I'm not going to be afraid of it. There we go. So we should get feet, because it should be a phantom. Step in the salt. Uh, there we go. There's a footprint. Or is that? No, that... No. There are no foot. Where are your feet? Friend, where are your feet? Give me... A little bit. It 
turned on the power as well. Hmm. <laughs> Suspicious. It stepped, it didn't leave any feet. Oh, there we go. Yes, the wraith can touch the salt, but when they do, they don't leave these little footprints. Like, all the, all the other ghosts leave these footprints when they're walking around. So the wraiths can touch it, but they just can't leave feet. So if you have a, a, a ghost walk in salt and then walk around, but not leave footprints, then it's a wraith. But I'm pretty confident it's a phantom. Um, mm -hmm. Because as soon as I took that picture, it immediately disappeared. But it was still doing the ghost event, so it was still... We can still hear it singing. It just wasn't. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't present. So, uh, the phantom would be. What is phantom? So it's dots, fingerprints, spirit box. So this should be spirit. Spirit. Um, fingerprint somewhere. Yeah, the Diogens. The Diogens could be scary if you don't. Um, if you don't identify them, or if you misidentify them. But this should not be a Diogen. This should be a Phantom. So we need fingerprints. I'm going to go in with this. Uh, last thing we needed to do is pop a creasy. Um, we're going to go in with two smudges. We're just going to throw one down. And we're going to look for those fingerprints. We're not going to be going for perfect games today, I don't think. Maybe we'll. See if it's touched any glass here. Um, it, ah, crap! It did touch this light switch. I should have checked this immediately because it did touch that light switch. That's a good point. and that just burned down our sanity because it got us. So that took at least ten percent off our sanity. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm gonna use the flashlight. Just turn off the power. Heard to do that. this will know it's a Diogen. So it walked by, so yep, it's already done hunting. Yeah, so we know it's not a Diogen because it would have found us. The Diogens always know where you are. So, oops. So for some more Prints. See any fingerprints? But I'm pretty can I'm pretty convinced it's a wraith. We didn't get Creasy yet. We still need to get Creasy. Don't forget to hydrate, friends. Okay, so what else could it be? We know it's not a Diogen, so we're gonna mark that off. Pretty convinced. We know it's not a wraith because we saw the f the it left um, footsteps. Wraiths do not leave footsteps after they step in salt. So it's either going to be orbs or fingies. It's the only things it can be left. It's got to be a phantom. It's or a yoka, which we're pretty convinced it's a phantom. At least I am. 
Ari, welcome, welcome. Let's check out Aria. She is a IR She is a um, variety streamer. Excuse me. Let me. Um, and uh, we were watching Ari play some one of my favorite games, Jedi Fallen Order, yesterday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How am I doing? I'm doing good. I'm uh, playing some Phasma, trying to figure out what uh, what these ghosts are. Can't go on a date. Spend my allowance on the <laughs> Welcome in. There's no fucking facts. This is like 1986. All right. Let me grab. Uh, let me grab the rest of these smudges. Oh, what else could we grab? Oh, I guess we can grab a. Another one of these. 95% sure this is a phantom. Good Faz run. Yeah, so far, um, we got the ghost to disappear as soon as we took a picture of it, so we're pretty sure it's a phantom. So there should be no orbs, because the only other thing it could be is orbs, which would be a yokai. I'm not seeing any orbs. Oh. oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, re revs do be folding people. I'd be seeing, yeah. You know. Oh, oh. Are you, are you done? Are you, are you? Okay. Oh, why did they move the light over here? There we go. But, uh, yeah, we're pretty sure it's a, um, phantom who doesn't, oh my gosh. They make these things darker, I'm pretty sure. A phantom who doesn't want to touch anything. Grab another smudge. See if you knocked on any glass. I'm pretty sure it's a phantom. Also, I'm not sure where it's hunting from. I mean, it, this is its room. But it's filthy with crucifixes. I don't like it almost. It sounded like it almost came from the uh, living room that time. Oh, touch light. Uh, I'm gonna smudge, prevent from hunting for a second because I don't want to hunt. And let's get that fingerprint. There's that fingerprint. Give me that fingy. Give me that fingy print. Buy him. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, what'd you throw? something. All right, let's let's get out of here. Let's get out of. <laughs> Throwing that blade switch. We got our phantom because it's uh, fingerprints. Got him. Did I eat? I didn't eat. I actually made my stir fry this uh, this afternoon for lunch. I went to bed. Uh, I went to bed. Um, I was, I was watching your stream and I, I fell asleep. Um, but I'll be eating, I have, um, actually I have some pizza I'm going to eat for dinner after stream tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see here. Uh, bu -bu -bu Phantom. We're good. Let's get out of here. But yeah, I made some. Uh, I made some stir fry. I made that stir fry this afternoon for lunch. It was pretty good. Had some um, peas and carrots and um, chicken and uh, egg, ginger, garlic. No onions. No onions. I usually, I almost always do. I love onions. 
Um, but I didn't, I didn't have any onions left. <laughs> But I love ginger. I'm not. I'm not as big on garlic. Um, I'm not a big garlic guy. But I, I always add a little bit of garlic. Had a good snooze. I was about to die. I had to switch. Oh, you had to switch the game. Okay, okay. Yeah, I do love me some Fallen Order. I'll be playing through it again at some point. I've I've played through it on stream. I think twice, maybe. Osarium, welcome. I will hydrate. First, let me uh, do the thing. Do the do. Winters, you're terrible. You're an awful human being, and you're the worst ever. I absolutely hate your guts. You're so annoying. You're literally trash. Get out of here. Please just leave. You're not even cool at all. Oh boy, You're just roasting somebody. <laughs> Is that like a redeem or something? Welcome in. That's interesting. Returning chatter. I don't think I've ever seen returning chatter before. Welcome, welcome. I came in to say hello. I'm going to leave a lurk. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Uh, and enjoy your dinner. I hope it's something yummy. We already knocked out the Grafton Farmhouse. That is one of my favorite maps now. Since they did the, the map rework, I love Grafton. It used to be the hardest map, and it still is a very difficult map, but I think Bleedsdale is now the most dangerous map in the game now. Kimchi ramen. Let's go. Absolute fire. Well, enjoy your um, enjoy your dinner and enjoy the lurk. I appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm. I, I made some changes to the audio uh, as, as well as a number of other changes. So I hope things are sounding sounding better than yesterday. You're welcome, you're welcome. Enjoy. We've arrived. Check the equipment and There's a um, Korean restaurant I used to really enjoy uh, down the road that unfortunately closed a few months back. Take pics. Oh, it's just uh it's just pizza today. It's not it's not it's not uh gram worthy. Not gram worthy. When I when I get a, a nicer pizza I'll take a picture. Mm -hmm. What do we got? What do we got? We got Ellen Lee. But yeah, we're playing a little bit of Phasma today. Uh, where's the generator? Or the power? Power is on uh, first entryway. Um, what was I going to say? Mm -mm -mm. I forget. -y. name is Ellen Lee. Ellen Lee. Uh, we got ourselves a magic mirror and we got a bone. Oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot the bone. I'm dumb. We got the bone. We got our magic mirror. The game's just like, oh, we're, I'm just going to give it to you this time. So the mirror we can use to see where the ghost room is. We don't even have to, like, did I do that? Did the ghost do that? What the heck? Uh, email? Okay, so I did that accidentally. We're going to grab our mirror and find out where the ghost room is. So you pick up the mirror, it glows blue like this, and what you can do is you can use it to identify the ghost room by looking into it. I hate mirrors. I, <laughs> yeah, they can be a trick. So this is, all right. So that was the um, um, the utility room. Power stolen. 
So I'm gonna step outside. The easiest way to get there is, for, is through here. Um, and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drop our stuff off from there. But what I saw was a little the little uh, the heater. Um, and I'm not gonna go inside because our sanity could have been nuked by that. But I saw the little toolbox and the little heater, so I knew where it was. Always when I use it, it starts to hunt. Yeah, you have to be really careful. If it's close, it'll just immediately hunt you. So it can be a risky item, but it's also a very, very useful item. Uh, I can't see. I think, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, when you use it, it really burns your sanity down. So you have to kind of know the map, which is going to be interesting. They're going to, um, uh, they're going to re redo or add a new asylum. I don't know if they're going to redo or add a new one. So without being, without knowing the asylum, that, that, that that's going to change things in the mirror. Uh, okay, so we have good sanity, 75%. We are in demon hunting range, though, so we got to be careful there. Uh, we're going to start off with a double, double crucy. Just because we're, uh, we don't know what we're dealing with. Hope everybody's having a good evening here. Enjoying some Phasma. Phasma Thursday. I don't know if Thursday is going to be for Phasma, but I think the last couple weeks I've been doing Phasma on Thursdays. First things first, I'm going to throw down a Crucy. And one over here. And we're going to look for orbs. Since we is. Light. Okay, these are good to go. Nice. You can hide in those closets if we need to. Or the lockers. Oh yeah, if you guys uh, want to throw a host, that would be appreciated. There is a redeem if you throw the host to let us know that you're hosting. And uh, we can throw you some, uh, some uh, appreciation. Because uh, Twitch disable the ability to see who's hosting. You used to get a you used to be able to make an alert for that, but you can no longer. Oh that's okay. Okay, I'm not seeing any orbs. And it just touched that locker, so we're gonna drop our camera over here. We're gonna grab our EMF. Interaction, no fingerprints. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. It took me that long to find my phone <laughs> and get my coffee. <laughs> Missed some spooks. No worries. I'm glad you found your phone. I, I, I hate losing my phone. So, what do we got? Not a lot. We got not a lot. Get a photo of the ghost. Wait, is that an orb? That is an orb. What the heck? Alright, we got ourselves some orbs. We've knocked out Diogen, which is awesome, but we still have Raichu on the board. Raichu is, is extremely dangerous ghost. We also, even though the Mimic is off the board, we still have Mimic. Mimics always have ghost orbs. So, um, if you get orbs, it knocks out the Mimic, because it's not one of the Mimic's evidence pieces. So, the Mimic's spirit box, fingerprints, and freezing. However, comma, um, the Mimic has the ability to mimic another ghost's abilities. And so, you'll always get, on professional, you get, I think, five pieces of evidence with the Mimic. And uh, one of them will be orbs one of them will be a fake evidence piece and then it'll have its three actual evidence pieces yep so yeah mimics can bamboozle you so if you get orbs it automatically knocks out mimic but keep in mind that that it can still be a mimic and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pill up because we are very much on hunting range and we're going to grab some more stuff Let's see if we can get this ghost to do something 
The Mimic is the Bamboozle. And because of the Diogen, the Mimic is extraordinarily dangerous now. Because its evidence is, it always keeps the same five pieces of evidence, always. But it can change the ghost it's mimicking um, at random times. So it could be mimicking like a spirit or something, and then it can switch to a Diogen. And if you hunt while it's, if it hunts while it's mimicking Diogen, and you're not ready for that, it's gonna blow your back out. Oh, what are you doing? Spirity box. That's also a mimic, mimic evidence item piece, so. <laughs> we got Mare, Yokai, Unreal. So we can we can rule out the mimic by um, just eliminating freezing, which is what we're gonna do. But what do we have? Mare, Yokai, Unreal. Mm. So the Onryo is is that the fire ghost? Yes. So the Onryo is often referred to as the wrathful spirit. It steals souls from dying victims' bodies to seek revenge. This ghost has been known to fear any form of fire and will do anything to be far from it. Strength extinguishing a flame can cause an Onryo to attack and threaten this ghost will be less likely to hunt. So the, the extinguishing the flame, if you put a candle down and it blows it out, it triggers an immediate, immediate hunt roll. Um, if you are high sanity, that hunt roll is very low, it has a very low chance. If you're like low sanity, that hunt chance is extremely high. Um, and if someone dies, if you're playing in multiplayer, if someone dies, that hunt roll actually goes up in likelihood. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, but, but the fire it acts as a crucifix it has a three meter range i think it's three meter i might be wrong there if i'm wrong let me know but while the the candle is lit it cannot hunt so what you can do is you could put two candles right next to each other or put a candle on top of a crucifix and it cannot hunt in that area so if it blows out the the candle and it triggers a hunt roll if it does trigger a hunt and there's a crucifix underneath it'll just pop the crucifix and you'll be safe so that's one way to be safe from the unreal to uh, game the candle, but we're not even close to hunt at range. With our high sanity, even if it blows out a candle, it probably won't even hunt right now. So, what we will do? Um, what's our what's our evidence left? Cannot be EMF. Can be dots. Cannot be fingerprints. So it's ghostwriting, freezing. Ghostwriting, freezing, or dots. So I'm guessing it's going to be... Uh, we would have seen our breath by now. Watch our dots for a minute. Most likely writing. Let's um, get a book. Get a. What is that? Oh, holy crap! Sorry. <laughs> uh, get that, and we're going to take in a. Oh, we're just gonna take a salt. We don't need it right now, but it's good for pictures. Already got the writing. So I just heard it touch a thingy over here. All right, that camera's toast. So this book. So we got writing that makes it a mare. The mare. 
Uh, I love the mayor. I love the mayor's little more. I just love the fact that the mayor is the source of all nightmares, making it the most powerful in the dark. Mayors will have an increased chance to attack in the dark. Uh, with lights on, it has a less uh, a reduced attack chance. I think it, it drops all the way down to 40 sanity with the lights on. And it, I don't remember how high it pops up, but with the lights off, it has a higher likelihood to hunt. Uh, mares also cannot turn on lights. They're the only ghosts that, that cannot turn on a light unless there is a... Well, the mimic you can kind of discount because it changes ghost types. But yeah, the mares cannot turn on lights. Um, they can turn on the power, though. So you got to be careful about that. Uh, Jins are the ghosts that cannot turn off the power. They can only turn on the power. And um, they can turn off the power if they turn... Jins can turn on lights, though. And through that, they can actually trip the breaker. So you have to see if the breaker tripped because it turned on the lights. Or if it actually turned um, tripped the breaker naturally. Uh, so we need Crucy and a photo. Mares will also be much more aggressive about turning off lights than other ghosts. So that can be really hard to gauge because some ghosts are really, really don't like lights. Get some more pictures. We um, do need a ghost picture though, so we're gonna get a little bit of salt pics and um, we'll save a photo for the ghost. Grab our handy dandy glow stick. Uh, we already have a photo cam, we'll grab another smudge and some more salt. Just salt it up. Oh, it's right. Here. Oh, it killed the power. Nice. Where's our other salt thing go? There is. You know, that makes it really hard to see the salt, friend. There we go. I like to grab a lighter because I think the smudge are far easier to pick up than lighters are. And one more. And we need a ghost pick. And we're good to go. I think we should have one photo. He's just stomping in the, in the salt. Or she, I'm not sure. Can you show us a sign? Ah, oh, mares. I love mares. Mm -mm. Can you give us a sign? Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Are you close? Are you friendly? Oh, 
sure you rattle in something. Where's our spirit box at? Why did you have to drop the power? Rude. There it is. Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Where are you? Are you friendly? Are you friendly? Are you a friend? Are you still here? Where are you? I hope it didn't change rooms. Oh, I don't want to leave that one. There we go. Might have changed rooms. We're gonna check. Oh, nope, it's still here. It's really obsessed with these uh, locker doors. Can you show us? I'm gonna go ahead and smudge them to try to get it more active. Maybe appear for us. flashlight because um, we just smudged it we should have at least 90 seconds before it can hunt plus we have crucifixes here so it should not be able to hunt too close where are you are you here I see you stepping in salt can you can you show yourself can you appear manifest manifest destiny rebellio Don't be like this ghost. So hanging out in the ghost room is it, it helps burn down your sanity a lot more. Mm -hmm. Turn off the light. Actually, I'm gonna. I don't want it to interact with the light. So it can only turn on lights. It can't turn them off. I'm sorry. Scratch that. Reverse it. It can only turn off lights. It can't turn them on. So by turning it on, it gives it something else to interact with. And I don't want it to interact. I want it to show itself. I want it to appear in all of its glory, all of its spooky glory. Well, actually, is it okay if I don't talk almost at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You good, you good. Oh, this ghost is kind of irritating me. a hunt. If you hunt now, I'm going to be very upset. -y. There we go. Power turned on. Get some lights going. See if we can get a picture. Probably not, but Whatever. How many lights do we get? Do we get two more? Maybe. Okay, yeah, perfect. It can't turn on lights, so it can't blow the breaker with lights. It can only turn it off. That should have burned our sanity a little bit. We'll do it one more time. Oh, nope, that burned our sanity too much. All right, we'll try for the picture. You are quite quick.
surprised. The ghost was fliest. Did we get the picture? Oh, we did get the picture, though. Okay. I'm surprised it found us. It, I've rarely found in that spot. It was indeed a mare. There's some jobs ready for you. All right. Let's uh, rebuy real fast. see two of those flashlight by five of those let's quickly rebuy Some smudge, smudgy sticks. All right. Uh, Bleedsdale. It, like I said, it's dangerous. It's a dangerous house. I wasn't capping. No cap. All right, we're here. Take a look at the equipment and prepare accordingly before starting the investigation. I've also written some notes on the whiteboard if you need them. The ghost here seems to be linked to a cursed object. Go and take a closer look. Maybe using it will help your investigation. I don't want that. Lori Dyer? Bueller? Alright, power is basement. Mm -hmm. little hiding spot here if we need to. Let's walk in the living room. I'm gonna go hit the power. And I always like to keep the, um, if I have an EMF, I, I start off with the EMF and, uh, what was that? Am I hearing things? Am I crazy? I thought I heard a light switch. Hmm. Probably just the wind. Anyways. <laughs> um... I like to walk around with the EMF because if I just get an EMF reading out of nowhere, that can give you a good idea if it's a wraith. It can start to get your spider senses a tingling. Let's get the power going. No stinking lockers. Smelly lockers. Can you not? Okay, so I think we found our ghost room. It's back in here somewhere. No, it's just a ghost event. So EMF four is a ghost event. So nothing to take a picture of. 
smelly ghost. Stinky. Just turn on the shower. Uh, real quick. Oh, I meant to leave this here. Actually, no. We're going to take this. I'm going to go look for the uh, bone. Also, somewhere to hide because, my goodness. Bone here. Bone free zone. Wow. They're just. Uh, being stingy with hiding spots. Watch it be a Diogen. It just hunts and kills us right, right off. There's supposed to be some. There's a hiding spot. There we go. It's probably the other ones right here. It's only two in this whole map. Yep, and they're right next to each other. Perfect. There's the bone. Let's get out of here before this ghost hunts. So I can feel a hunt coming. How are we doing on sanity? Sanity is at 83%. Oh, never mind. Uh, motion sensor, salt, candle. So before we do all that, we're gonna try to identify our ghost. How we doing tonight, ghost hunting gang? Look for some Orbis. Some Morbis. I heard you knocking, ghost. What are you knocking on? that door for sure. I don't think we're going to make it in time. Grab my camera. And grab the EMF, find out what door touched. We get it. Interaction, no fingerprints. So, the, it can be an obake, which does not leave fingerprints all the time. Um, has a relatively high chance of not leaving fingerprints, actually. So, we can't discount fingerprints, but if we can do anything to um, discount the obake. Okay. Then, um, so it'd be orbs, EMF5. So if we can do anything to discount the obake, so if we get like freezing or something, we discount the obake. If we get freezing, we can discount, um, we can t also take out orbs. If we get spear box, we can take out orbs. If we get dots, we can take out orbs. Yep, yep, yep. Writing would take out orbs. Uh, writing, we could take out um, fingerprints. I said orbs, fingerprints. So if we see any dudes, we can also eliminate dots. We can eliminate, or we can eliminate fingerprints immediately. Join the hunt. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, let me uh, finish up this game. I will finish it quickly, and we will, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start gaming. We'll start gaming, gamer. see here they, they do they do have in effect through walls so you want to take into account the whole radius the whole three foot radius where are you spirity box all right so we got spirit oh my gosh <laughs> rude Extraordinarily rude. Excuse me if I uh, said some uh, impolite words. 
<laughs> I'm not sure exactly what I shot it out there. Oh, that was unpleasant. All right, so we got Spirity Box. That takes out the Obake. So we know that it cannot be fingerprints because it touched the door and it did not leave fingerprints. So by doing that, we, we uh, eliminate three ghosts. We don't truly eliminate the Mimic because there is a slight chance the Mimic could have been mimicking Obake, but I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah, we're not. We're not going. We're not. We're not doing that one. Okay, this has been a rude dude ghost. Let's figure out what this is. Uh, we're gonna go in with another book. We're gonna go in with another camera and another one of these. So we'll knock this out quick, and um, uh, we'll bring uh, we'll bring Jup in. Mm -hmm. Let's do another canvas for. Very, very active ghost. Turn my camera around so it's not going to interfere with those orbs. I did not take pills because... Do we need it to hunt? I don't think we do. No, we don't actually need it to hunt, so we're not going to... I'm going to go ahead and take pills so we can get out of here quick. Look for some quick dots. I just saw dots. What does that give us? So we've eliminated fingerprints. We have dots, Yojin Wraith, Yokai. Mm -mm -mm. We have not seen any orbs. I'm going to knock that off. Yojin Wraith. So EMF 5 or writing. Okay. Easily done. Let's go ahead and, just in case it's a Diogen, let's protect ourselves from silliness. And, uh, I don't really need anything else. We can go within that third camera. Oh, wait, what, what is it? EMA 5. No, we don't need a camera. So we'll just go in with the photo camera. Oh, wait, no, it's a Wraith. Or it could be a Wraith. No, no, no. Okay, okay. So, do this. We don't need a smudge because we're at 100% sanity. So we'll do the wraith test. That'll tell us right away what it is. Oh, is that EMF5? I think that was EMF5. Couldn't quite hear. Step in the salt. It's right here. Step in lay salt. There we go. No fingies or no feet. It is a wraith. It's gotta be. Yep, we can hear it stepping, but we don't see any green feet. So it's got to be Wraith. I will bet my... What would that be? That would be EMF5. So we might... I don't think we'll still get it. No, we don't get it. Okay. I think it gives you EMF as steps in the soul. Alright, well, we got, we got it. We know what it is. So I'll pick up Jump. We got ourselves a Wraith. Uh, we heard what we thought was the EMF-5, but it stepped in the salt and it didn't leave any feats. Oh, we got a board EMF-5 right there, boom. 
So the when it goes vertical like that and then drops back down, that's generally EMF 5. This board, so these are EMF levels, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It went up to 5, except this board is plus or minus 1 accurate. So you have to be careful using the board. Um, that means, uh, so ghost events, where the ghost manifests and does stuff, like blows out the lights, that's an EMF 4 level event. But on this board, it can show up as a 3 or as a, excuse me, or as a 5. So you have to be careful with those. And those will also present themselves as a burst of activity, followed by a drop of activity. But that very much looked like EMF 5 to me on the board. So we're going to 3. I will um, create a lobby, Jup, and I will send it to you. Okay. Yep, we got right there. We got you. it. Let me send it to you through, um, oh wait, no, that's not what I want to do. Welcome back. I'll send Thanks you a, a DM in, in, um, Twitch. Can we start Looks with like Tinder? Sure. Enough, in need of help. Uh, create private. Grab our code. There's the code. And uh, t yeah, Tanglewood was the next map I was going to play anyway, so perfect. Go ahead and hydrate. Hope everybody's having a good night so far. Chill out playing some Phasmo. Enjoying ourselves. I love this game so much. Can't wait to see them add more stuff. They're they're always adding stuff to this game. Uh, it's a US lobby too, by the way. So make sure you're on the US uh, when you're selecting the private match. Hey, welcome in, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Um, are you going to be listening to stream, or do you want me to use the radio to talk to you, Job? So I can do, I can do either or. I'm used to doing whatever. Take that as you want to use radio com, or I will radio com you. Let me know if you don't want me to use the radio, and I won't. All right, we're going with the same gear. Where are we at? Power is in the garage. which is in the garage here. Oh. And we got lockers we can hide in. Oh, bone. Nice. Got the bone. Got something? Oh, you think it's in here? Okay. A little bit, yep. Pretty cold in here. Oh, he's got the summoning circle as well. Got a picture of that. Very nice, very nice. Alright, let's go uh, get some more stuff. So we think it's in the living room. Uh, let's grab our dots for 
projector, let's grab our book. So one thing about setting up the dots projector I like to do, I set the book right next to the dots projector because if the ghost interacts with the dots projector, um, it, or I'm sorry, with the book, it has to write if writing's an option. So one thing I do is I set the book and then I set the dot projector right next to it to kind of line it up. Oh, I just heard it do something. Um, and if it is, uh, thank you for the hydrate. I will give me one second. EMF five. EMF five interaction. We got EMF five by the way. Um, and thanks again for the hydrate. Let's go ahead and do that. Spirit box? Yep, I'll grab it. Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Where are you? What do you want? <laughs> Spirit box, EMF5. Alright, Spirit box, EMF5, Twins, Wraith, Spirits. It seems to be keen on death. Death makes it. Uh, yeah, it can't be fingerprints. The ghost writing can be freezing. Probably not freezing. We would have seen our frozen breath by now. And uh, we, we did a thermometer check too. So we can actually go ahead and eliminate freezing, I think. Spirit of Wraith. Spirit of Wraith, what is with this? Uh, we need sanity, we need to prevent, we need salts. Uh, let's. Dots, orbs, writing. I think it's actually, actually, it's going to be a hallway ghost, I think. Orbis. Any feet? I didn't see any feet. Like a wraith? be right no orbs no dots I'm dumb we didn't get dots but it should be dots if we didn't see any feet I don't think you saw feet I didn't see any so let's um first and foremost we're gonna grab some stuff here I grab another dot projector grabbing a protection item just be able to smudge it So it should be dots. Let's drop that there. Wraith 100%, okay. There's a really nice one they added in the garage. It's not a permanent hiding spot, but uh, yeah, it's not here. So sometimes there'd be a little build-up thing here if you can hide, but it's not here. I think we have uh, lockers. Yep, we have lockers, and we have blue room.
hopefully that gets so these have about a three meter coverage so these are pretty much so it'll cover anything on the same floor you're in the kitchen now are you So you want to get them about six meters apart, and then you want to get them to cover as much area as possible. So this one's covering almost all the living room. This one's also covering areas over here through the wall. Did you move? Did it move to? here or is it just wandering I guess we'll find out soon I haven't seen dots this whole time oh we got our sanity down so one of the objectives is sanity below 25 the other one is to get it to Papa Crucy Hopefully he's okay. I don't know where he hit. <laughs> is it done? Hiding behind the door? Okay. It is done. smudge it's just a manifest still doesn't pop the crazy photo already but we'll see we didn't have a ghost photo nice now we do all right let's see if we can get it to i mean it, it manifested right here so this crucy would cover it for sure oh i finally saw dogs for the first time Yeah, I just saw dots. Yeah, that was the first time I saw it as well. It was really weird that it took so long to get him. Should be done. Yep, it's done. Hmm. Well, no Chrissy. That's okay. We don't need no stinking Chrissy. Let's go ahead and just take the win. Alright, we got Wraith locked. Got some good photos. Didn't have the crucifix, but that's okay. Sometimes it can be hard to get it to break the crucy. Alright. Let's hit it. Guys, here are my socials. Welcome back. If you want to join in the hunt, there is a redeem for that. Um, feel free to join in. But yeah, there are the socials. Feel free to follow. 
um, if you like what you're seeing. We do community games of this and of Risk of Rain 2. And we'll be doing some community games of other games as well. Um, we'll be playing Phasmo for probably another hour and a half. Maybe a little longer. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how things turn out. Um, Edgefield. And uh, we do Phasmo usually about once a week. And um, on Saturday, we'll be gaming at 1030 CT, playing some Call of Duty Ghosts, the single player of Call of Duty Ghosts. I don't know that anyone still plays the multiplayer of Ghosts. But I, I never played the single player of Ghosts. I've been playing through all the Call of Duty single players. I missed a ton of them. The last one I finished when it came out was um, Modern Warfare 3. So I actually didn't finish Black Ops, which was before Modern Warfare 3, but I very much enjoy Black Ops. Uh, Black Ops 2 actually now is my favorite single player Call of Duty game. Uh, I prefer it now to, my, my I, I was a huge fan of Call of Duty right, 2. Yeah. Um, I played that way back in the day when I was a wee baby Tima, and I love that, and I haven't had any Call of Duty game more enjoyable until recently. And um, Black Ops 2 finally unseated the crown that Call of Duty 2 held for a very, very long time. Got to show some music box. Nice. And Jump already got a picture of that, so I did not take a picture of the music box. Go ahead and end the power. On this map, there's only two places the power can be. It can be in the garage or it can be down here. So we have the power on. Lockers are blocked here. In the basement. Let's see if the locker... I didn't check the lockers in the garage. Oh, garage lockers are good. Nice. Got something? I think it's here. Yeah. I just heard it throw something, too. What'd you throw? I thought it was something in here. Sound like a plate. Am I wrong? Uh, maybe I'm crazy. It sounded like it threw a plate or something, but nothing came on the EMF. Maybe there's something over here, but it's going to be over there. Shut all these doors, force it to interact. Something. Anger the ghost. Alright, it's gonna potentially kill me. That's okay. Oh, it's upstairs. judged hopefully it's not Diogen if it's Diogen it's gonna kill me oh god it might be a Diogen nope not Diogen If it was Diogen, it would have known I was in here. You can't avoid the Diogens by hiding. You have to outrun them. You have to loop them. Which is only really one reliable loop spot on this map, and that's in the living room.
Well, it spawned upstairs for sure. So let's uh, get some motion sensors. So it was upstairs. Yeah, it looked like it was in the master bedroom. Put a couple motion sensors around here. I'll put these up higher. Oh, yep, it just turned off this light on me. Yep, master bedroom. Oh, did you get a temperature snare? I got a ghost event in the master bedroom. Let's, uh, let's see. Gonna go ahead and take a pill so it doesn't hunt. We'll see what sensor it sets off. Might need to put some more in there. Purple room. Grab a sensor, we'll put one in the purple room. Oh, nope, it just sent one. Yep, just set off master bedroom. Set off hallway as well. He's alive, right? Yeah, he's locked up. So it set off master bedroom, then hallway, then hallway. Put one in the purple room. There. Put a here. Put one here. Just touched a door over here. Uh, where'd I put my EMF at? Camera. I have no idea where my EMF is. Grab our EMF. Probably too late. Camera. Storage touch. Sort of a... Dirty water. I yeah, will take dirty water. I usually don't take dirty water, but I already messed up the picture, so we'll be okay. Probably should have EMF the water. That would have been the, the the smart play, wouldn't it? Okay, let's do that. Let's do spirit box. Let's do um. What evidence do we have? Do we have any evidence? Well, we know it's not a Diogen, so that's that's what we have, I guess. <laughs> Where are you? What do you want? Where are you? Got a spirit box. Alright, we got a spirit box. It says it's far. Cannot be a right you. Move this. Move these up so we're not setting them off when we're crouching. So you can just crouch beneath these things. Like that. This one will move up. There we go. Crap, I don't know if 
that was a okay yeah that was a ghost event that did that nice okay so, ghost writing okay writing uh, Diogen, it's not a Diogen, so we can mark that off. So it cannot be, it cannot be dots if it's writing in spirit box. Orbs, I don't think it's freezing. Even if five is possible. Check that. Check for freezing. Should not be freezing. Spots. Twenty degrees in here. Seventeen. Wait, was twins on the board? Okay, one point five. Yeah. Was that a hunt? It's definitely in here, and it's definitely not freezing. So we can mark off freezing. Spirit, Poltergeist, Mare. See the orbs, fingies, or M5. My money is going to be on M5. If I were a betting man. Dumpy. Just throwing. Give me that sweet, sweet M5. Where'd you throw stuff? What'd you throw? Wait a minute. Hmm. So, fingerprints, we have not seen fingerprints. Could it be orbs? Could there be a hidden orb somewhere? Oh, yep, it is orbs. I'm. Uh, it's these. Uh, so, it's a. Oh my gosh! Well, we did get orbs. Uh, I saw orbs last second, so it's a mare. Oh no! No, I killed him! No! Anger the ghost. I don't know that I can anger the ghost anymore. I already angered it. mirror so I don't really have any mechanism to anger it except to stand in the darkness. Grab a smudge. All I can do is stand in the darkness. Ghost, why are you killing people? Where did you even spawn, Ghost? Is 
Just go. Okay, we'll go. I'll refund your points. Well, it was kind of angry, but... Alright, we got Mare. Yeah, if we were right you, I could take in a bunch of uh, electronics or something. But Mare's kind of hard to anger. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. Alright, let's... Uh... I'll buy, we'll select... Have to go? Alright, well, thanks for hanging out, GG. Thanks again for the follow and the redeems. And uh, hopefully we'll catch you next time. Uh, we play Phasmo quite a bit here, so... Hope to see you again soon. And thanks again for the games. We're playing with Jup for a couple of games. Appreciate them. Let's continue, shall we? So we played um, Grafton, Bleedsdale, Ridgeview, Tanglewood, Edgefield. <laughs> nightmare. Okay, we'll do Nightmare. One last. Alright, we'll do Nightmare. Uh, do you want to join in for Nightmare, or are you, are you, are you going to be a, just a, an observer? The code's still the same if you want to join in. All right, Nightmare. Nightmare, Nightmare. Haven't played Nightmare in a minute, actually, so this should be fun. Uh, let's go to... For Nightmare, we're going to go back to Grafton, I think. I'm going to do Grafton. Yeah, let's do Grafton. All right. Grafton Nightmare. I've not done Nightmare. I've not done Nightmare since the new ghosts have been added, guys. So this should be interesting. In Nightmare, you don't get the benefit of any of your boards. The ghosts, except for the mimic, only give you two pieces of evidence. So you have to Figure out what the ghost is based on its behavior. So you don't know where the power is. It doesn't show you the power box on the map. You just have to know where it spawns and look at the places where it can spawn. It doesn't let you know what your sanity is. You're hosting. Thank you so much for the host. I appreciate I appreciate that. That helps us a lot. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for the games and the nightmare. I've not played Nightmare in a minute, so this is going to be fun. It's going to be a challenge. All the new ghosts. I, don't, I haven't really gotten the ghost behaviors down for the new ghosts yet. So I will be using the book a lot. Looking around for cursed objects. Looking around for power. Looking around for bones. Here's a good hiding spot. This is also a hiding spot. Ouija can spawn here. Some, or not the Ouija, the um, uh, Voodoo doll can spawn there. Oh, we got power. Nice. This is a hiding spot right here. Boom. So actually I'm going to turn on this light in case we need to retreat back there. can spawn in this room sometimes, not seeing it. No hiding spots in here, so this is a death trap. Thanks again everybody for hanging out. Thank you for all my lurkers. Hope everybody's having a good night. We're having a bit of a spooky night. You can hide back here as well. It's a good hiding spot. Pop upstairs. Gonna go to this room 
to the left. This room is a death trap. If you get caught in a hunt back here, you are gonna have a bad time, usually. Sometimes the voodoo will spawn there. Do we have ourselves a bone in here? Is it a rib cage? Do we have ourselves no bone? Okay, no bone, no ghosts, no maidens. Is this house even haunted? Oh, yep. Paintbrush. That shouldn't, I'm pretty sure that paintbrush should not be there. Pretty sure. Got ourselves a summoning circle, and I think I saw freezing. Yep, we got freezing. That's all I like to see right there. We got our uh, lockers. I have not seen the bone, though. Where is the bone? Let's uh, get out of here. We don't want to hang out too much. Get some lights on. All right, so we got our first evidence piece, freezing temperatures. That does mark off the deogen, so we can hide. Let's see what else we get. I'm gonna go ahead and take one pill. Pill, one, one pill for the one time. One time for the one time. Just because uh, one thing about nightmares, usually, unless the ghost gives itself away, it can sometimes take a minute to confirm what the ghost is. I think I just saw orbs. Yep, orbs. We got ourselves orbs. And yes, I am going to go ahead and drop down these things in case it is a mimic. So we got orbs. It's going to knock mimic off the board, but it still can be mimic. So the mimic will always have another piece of evidence. So it'll be spirit box or it'll be fingerprints. So, if it's a mimic, we'll get another evidence item, which will either be orbs or, or will either be spirit box or fingerprints. Okay. But what we have is Revenant Yuri Hantu Unreal. Hmm. We can uh, check the on, we can check the Revenant with speed. We can check the Unreal with um, with fire. Unreal, the, the, we could put a, a candle underneath a crucifix, and it will never pop the crucifix unless it, the candle is out. Yuri and Hantu will be difficult. The Hantu, you, we could see its breath uh, while it manifests. So if it manifests, if, it's, if we see freezing breath, it's, it's a Hantu. Yuri, they're really, I don't know of a good test for the Yuri. I'm missing something? Yeah, I'm missing one thing. Okay. So, we'll go into the spirit box and we'll make sure it's not a mimic. I don't know what the mimic's required evidence. Actually, no, the mimic's required evidence is orbs, which is not even an evidence piece. I don't know if it has another required evidence besides that. Nimsy, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's do the shout out. Let's do the thing. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. We're, we're, we're playing in nightmare mode. Where are you? What do you want? Sorry. Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? 
we already have two evidence items. We have freezing and we have ghost orbs, but I'm just checking to make sure it's not a minute. What do you want? <laughs> I'm braver than you. No, no, no. You're always playing, um, DBD. Game is, that game is spooky. I was playing with um with a friend earlier, which we do have a uh, join the hunt redeem. Feel free to avail yourself of it. But our friend also redeemed nightmare mode, which is another redeem. Um, so to make me play nightmare. We're trying to figure out what this ghost is, though. We're having to do a behavioral analysis of the ghosts. But it's good to see. I hope all is well. Hope you're having a wonderful night. I'm having a pretty good night so far. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Give me one second. Let me, uh, let me drop these real fast. Eating some pizza. I am going to have pizza for dinner. Um, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, switch scenes here, friends. Um, and I saw, I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll disappear for a moment here. So we can get a good look at it. This is um, a scene that was made by Jinx Gaming. It is um, based off of uh, Titanic um, and Olympic. A lot of a lot of the photos I provided to Jinx were from the Olympic. There's very few. There's actually only one surviving photo I know of of Titanic's Marconi wireless room. Pretty much all the renditions of this wireless room came from her sister ship, which survived RMS Olympic. Eating a veggie pizza. I have a sausage and pepperoni, but I do love me a veggie pizza. I, I love me a cheese pizza too. Do love me a cheese pizza. Um, but uh, yeah, this is, um, so this is the a rendition, it's not a photorealistic re rendition, of course, or, or a, a historically accurate rendition, but Jinx did a phenomenal job uh, of this wireless room. Um, you can see the wireless keys down there next to the uh, the set of paper kind of in the middle of that. Thank you for showing it. Thank No, no, yeah, anytime. I love this artwork. Um, I do have another uh, a piece of artwork let me see if I can pull that up real fast too. Of the bridge of the Titanic that is in my schedule. Uh, and you can see my schedule. Yeah, yeah. Um, I might I might I might do a scene of it, but I don't have one right now. Hold on, let me pull it up. I'll have to pull it up in the, on the desktop though. Not that one. Um, there we go. So we'll pull this up. So yeah, it's in my schedule. Uh, switch back here to... I don't have a scene of it, but oh, I'm in the way again. Uh, actually, let me fix this real fast before I forget. Do this and do bring myself back here. Sorry, I'm a bit scuffed. Bop. There we go. And then we're going to switch scenes. We're going to go back to our there. And 
then I'm going to go ahead and disappear from here as well. Um, let's see, let me bring up chat. I need Titanic theme sound alerts. Yeah, the one problem with those is that, that, that they're going to be DMCA'd. But yeah, so this, this scene was done by um, uh, Fluxology. <laughs> Very interesting name. Um, right now on Twitter, her um, handle is... It was Chaotic Void Energy. I'm drawing a blank on what it's changed to. Uh, the Terrible Flute. Oh yeah, the Terrible Flute one is not... Yes, that is indeed not... Uh, that's not DMC. I might have to add that in as a, as a channel point for DM. But yes, this is Titanic's Navigation Bridge, and um, she did, a f again, a phenomenal job. I'm blown away. Artists are so awesome. Um, here you can see, um, this is the ship, one of the ship's helms. This is not the helm that they would use while the ship was at sea. They, this would only be used when the ship is in a um, confined space, uh, docking or in a confined waterway. Actually, over here, there's some windows you can see. This is the wheelhouse. This is where the ship's helm would be navigated by the ship's helmsman uh, while they were in open ocean. Uh, you can see there's a there's a device here that actually interlinks these two helms. This would be disconnected while the ship was steaming at sea. So this this helm would just be free floating, not doing anything. Uh, we have a <laughs> a whole screen of. DD214. The old, uh, <laughs> uh, let me see if I have one of those. Uh, there you go. There you go. There's your DD214. <laughs> um, I do have a Subbrief has a DD214 um, emote. Love it. Um, we have also we have our um, engine order telegraphs. They have telegraphs. Uh, this this one I believe this is the primary telegraph. Uh, this is connected to the engine room all the way um, aft uh, in in the bottom in the in the on the tank top. They have a backup telegraph because these were cables that would run all the way through the ship to provide engine orders. They also had a couple more uh, that you can't see. One of them would run back to the docking bridge, which is on the aft part of the ship. Um, and then you have a, um, a line telegraph, which would tell the ship to, you know, what lines to let out. There'd also be a engine condition telegraph that would tell the engine room what to do with the engines to start them, stop them, order up more steam. Binnacle is a compass. Um, it is aligned with the ship's keel. It also has a level to set, to tell the officers how much the ship is rolling. Um, if it's listing starboard or port. Um, it's made of non-ferrous material, mainly brass. So it's uh, insulated from the, the iron in the ship, so it can tell you true the two uh, compass bearings. Uh, the green and red circles, I believe these are just indicating, so green is going to be your starboard, uh, red is going to be the port side. I don't know what the lights actually indicate. Um, I know the compass is backlit, it has its own lighting system in it, so you can see it at night. Um, I don't know if this is part of the ship's leveling system, to be honest. To tell the tell the, the crew how much the ship is listing one way or the other. Um, but there's a binnacle here. There's also one in the wheelhouse that the uh, helmsman would use to maintain the course. Um, like a cooling system, uh, not like a cooling system, like a um, like a leveling system to tell them how much the ship is rolling. Um, but yeah, this binnacle would be used by the officers to know what bearing they were going, they were on. There'd be one in the wheelhouse where the uh, helmsman would would 
navigate. Uh, this is an open bridge. Titanic had an open bridge. These windows actually would slide down so they can be op open, exposed fully to the elements and see what's going on. Um, but in the wheelhouse at sea, the um, helmsman would be given a course and he would, his sole job is to maintain that course. He does not need to see out. Um, he just needs to follow the course that's given to him by the officers. So he's enclosed in a completely enclosed wheelhouse. Um, <laughs> no worries, no worries. Um, this this artwork is, is incredible, so it, it, I gotta show it off. I, I gotta show it off. Um, the, the officers would be exposed, so they'd be keeping a good watch. It'd be two officers um, while the ship was cruising. A senior officer, so either the second, first, or chief officer, or captain. So one of those four officers would be on the bridge. And then um, a junior officer, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth officer would be accompanying him uh, and helping him carry out orders. There'd be two quartermasters, a helmsman, and two lookouts, uh, as well as aft, there'd be another quartermaster on the docking bridge who could also order, who can also relay engine orders to the engine room in case they lost the ability to uh, send orders. Um, also to help uh, just, you know, watch out for people falling overboard, other things. He kept the log back there. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, this is the bridge. Um, the bridge would, yeah, it would, it would work with the navigation bridge, it would work with the docking bridge aft, and it would work with the lookouts up front in the crow's nest, which was suspended 90 feet above the, um, the deck to provide a very, uh, to, pro to provide a constant lookout. During the daytime, they would have an incredible view. The lookouts would have an excellent view, further than what you can see from the navigation bridge. At nighttime, the navigation bridge generally has a, a, a good view of unilluminated objects. Uh, illuminated objects, the, the, the lookouts would have a better rate range, but at night, to see, say, like an iceberg, you can actually generally see icebergs extremely well from the navigation bridge. Um, because you're looking you're actually looking for a break in the horizon is what you're looking for. Uh, being more level with the ocean, you have a better view of seeing breaks in the horizon, whereas if you're up in the crow's nest looking down, it's much harder to see a break in the horizon. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah, the, um, Photology did a very good job of this. Uh, I love the, the detail. I love, you know, she got the overhead devices to, to link the helm um, to the main helm. Um, the engine order telegraphs, the binnacle, uh, the, the the port side wing here um, of the navigation bridge, the the structure, uh, yeah, it just looks it looks really good. Uh, the raised platform here for the uh, for the helm um, and the decking looks looks excellent. So yeah, um, one 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 detail I love too about um, the radio room is. I love the radio room, the floor of the radio room. Um, the red and white floor with that cross pattern uh, actually is, so Titanic was known for the, the luxury of her appointments and how, how well built she is. That flooring is actually linoleum. Um, linoleum was kind of new, not really new in 1912, but kind of new, but it was not considered a cheap material where now linoleum is kind of considered cheap and kind of tacky. Um, linoleum was used extensively in the Titanic because it looked really nice and it was lightweight. Um, you don't want a whole lot of heavy tile high up in the ship's superstructure because that will create a additional um, instability of the ship. So you want something looking nice everywhere, but you don't want something that's going to cause the ship to be top heavy and want to roll more. So they used linoleum extensively um, to make the ship look nice, uh, but as well as to retain, uh, to, to, to not put additional weight high up. So this, the, the radio room is actually on um, the boat deck. It's on the highest deck of the ship um, after the bridge. So, up, you know, you, you definitely don't want to put heavy tile. And, and the radio room was not considered to be a room that was supposed to be very uh, well decorated. You can tell the... the um, the bulkheads, the the walls are not ornate. They 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 look like the cruise walls. They're not like decorated or anything. So it's a very 
utility room, but they did take the time to put in that linoleum tile. And I'm glad that Jinx picked that up and actually put that, like from the, from the um, pictures I sent her, she picked that up and she added that in. Um, it's a very nice detail and it looks very, very accurate. So very, very happy with this. Ari, welcome, welcome. First time chatter, welcome, welcome. Uh, let me uh, let me do the thing. Let me do the thing. Uh, did I get did I get everybody shout out? Did I miss anybody? I apologize if I did. Uh, where's the thing? How do I do the thing? Uh, da -da -da -da. Da -da. Boom, boom. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I guess I probably need my model back, don't I? <laughs> I'm just a just a disembodied voice right now. Let's uh, let's bring me, let's bring me back. I was showing some 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 artwork off. <laughs> Nothing but nine bullets in a dream. I'm a yeah I'm a big Titanic nerd so uh, that's what my um, my models based off of I got a lot of Titanic art I will continue to get Titanic art because it is a it was a well it is it was a beautiful ship I love those old steam liners um, Titanic uh, Olympic Britannic Mortarania Lusitania Aquitania I love all those old ships. Um, it's just super cool. I love the Edwardian aesthetic, uh, that kind of post-Napoleonic look where, you know, Napoleonic uniforms are all like gaudy with, you know, buttons and badges and ribbons and tassels and all that stuff. I love the um, more minimal minimalist, uh, more pragmatic uniforms that they had and dress and the way that they conduct themselves. Are you into steampunk? I don't know why, but I have a feeling you like that. I do like the steampunk aesthetic. I, I, I haven't dabbled too much into it, uh, but I do love, you know, this. I do love the aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I am a, I'm a big Titanic nerd. I, I love steam engines. I love, um, I love old mechanical, you know, kind of the, the, the older mechanical science. I love the Edwardian I kind of mantra. Um, a very, a very pragmatic uh, approach to science and 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 just kind of how, how they're advancing science and 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 society in general. The, the, there was definitely problems in the nineteen twelve, as as we spoke about with a. Uh, um, the things that that James Cameron didn't include in his movie last time, but still very interesting time. All right, well, let's figure out what this ghost is, shall we? We got ghost orbs. We got freezing temperatures. We might just have to test to see if it's revenant. We had no spirit box, so probably not a mimic. Probably not. We did get some candles in there, so it could be an Onryo. What else do we have? Yure Hantu. Okay. Going for a lurk? Okay. Uh, must get ready for work. But I hope you have a good night, a good stream. I'll be lurking. Thank you again for the lurk. Really appreciate it. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the combo. Thanks for asking about the, the radio room. I really love that um, piece of artwork that Jinx did a phenomenal job on. Okay. Ghost turned out the power on us. I think it's really cool.
cool. Ooh, did it move out here? We have freezing out here now. We no longer have free oh wait, no, we do have freezing. The twins is off the board. How do we have freezing out here? Spooky. So what we're going to do is we're going to move one cursey here. Oh my goodness. There we go. One cursey here. We'll leave one cursey in there. I'm going to go turn the power back on. But I, I uh, I'm like I said, I'm a big nerd, and I'm I'm proud to be a nerd. We will be doing some Titanic on honor and glory when, well, even before it comes out, we'll do the beta. But when it comes out, we will be we will be grinding that game. It is going to be one of the most um, accurate renditions of Titanic ever made, it seems. The developers are putting in, it's an independent development group, and they are really putting in their research. So I'm really looking forward to that game. I've played the demo, or I've, I've gone through the demo. But we will do it on stream, and we'll show off their work. Looks like the ghost blew out the candle in there. We're not going to mess around with any more pills for now. Because we do want to hunt. I'll drop one there. Drop one here. Actually, no, we'll hold on to that. So we'll keep these candles lit. lit. Onrails do not like candles. Actually, that's what we could do. We can come up with more candles. See if we can prevent it from hunting with candles alone. If we can, then it's probably an Onrio. If we cannot, it may not be. We can test for Revenant by seeing how fast it is when it does hunt. One thing with the Unreal test you want to do is you want to put the candles right on top of the crucifix. If a candle is lit and it still blow and it still burns down a crucy, it is not an Unreal. Because an Unreal must blow out the candle first before it tries to hunt. So basically, if this crucifix gets popped and that candle is still lit, we know it is not an Unreal. Each one of these candles acts as a crucifix, so it has to take out the candle first before it hunts. The other thing about the Unreal, do I have the right, I'm going to make sure I have the right ghost. Unreal, da, 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 where are you? Here you are. 17. Yeah, extinguishing the flame causes to attack. So the, the candles act as crucifixes. So as they're in this range, um, they, they should, okay, here we go. When it blows it out, it has a chance to hunt. But since we're, we should be relatively high sanity, that chance should be very low. But what would happen is if it blew out this candle, in an attempt to hunt, it would pop the crucifix. So if it blew out a candle, and then immediately the crucifix popped, then again, a good chance it's an unreal. But it cannot hunt while there is a candle lit in its area. It's gotta blow it out, or it can't hunt. And it's looking very unreal-like, the way it's blowing out these candles. 
actually that one. Oh no, no, that's just residual smoke. Those are residuals. <laughs> this guy's getting residuals. Looking awfully sus. Looking awfully unreal. -y. Oh, it hunted. Let's see if it's around. So the rev will come at us much faster than that. That is not a rev. 100% not a rev. So a rev would be much, much faster. Hopefully I'm not seen here. Okay, it's done. If I were a betting man, which I am, I would put my money on Unreal. But we can say for sure it is not a revenant. It was far too slow. Mm -hmm. Oh, was I supposed to smudge it? Oh, we need a motion sensor. We need a written as it goes. Okay. Let's get us a motion sensor. That should be really easy. to be too scared here because it is not a revenant it's not it was pretty slow which i'm also kind of thinking it wasn't a hantu because a hantu should be really fast in freezing temperatures and it was not fast at all so the the hantu should be almost uh should have been in that room almost right you speed and it certainly was not right you speed So I think we can knock out Hantu, we can definitely knock out, um, we can definitely knock out Revenant for sure, oh. leaving Yuri and Unreal, which I'm betting it's an Unreal. Let's get our Crucis relit, it hasn't burned out a single Crucis. Way too slow to be on to, I'm sure. Oh no! Oh no! No no no! No 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 no! I messed up. Did it see us? I don't think it saw us. Yeah, this ghost is real slow. Yeah, this ghost is. Did we get um? We got repel. We got the motion sensor. So the I think I think we're safe saying okay. So the the there's no real way so I think we can say it is not a hot two. And there's no real way that I know of to tell the difference between a Yuri and an Unreal. I don't know what the Yuri, if the URI has a required evidence piece. So, I'm gonna go with Unreal because I'm pretty sure it is an Unreal. Based on its its hunting when the Q 
candles were lit. It never popped a crucy. Um, the whole time it was in there. So we're going with Unreal. Hantu. It was a Hantu. There's some jobs ready for you. Okay. Okay. So the Hantu, we could have seen the breath of the Hantu. I didn't even try to see the Hantu's breath because it was so freaking slow. And that second room was freezing. So it should have been almost as fast as Raichu. That's okay. That's okay. If I would have been more... If I hadn't dismissed Hantu, we might have seen... So the Hantu, when it's hunt when it's in a no when the hantu is visible period when it's ever visible it you could see its breath its breath will be freezing so it, it'll have like a condensation breath that we have um but the hantu is the only ghost that actually does that that all that has that condensation breath so um, i did not scrutinize that enough because i discounted hantu because it seemed to be really slow in a room that was freezing Okay, well, Nightmare is a... Nightmare's fun. Nightmare's always fun. All right, friends. Um, let's see. We're going to play for at least another half an hour. So let's see. We're going to do Maple. I rarely do Maple. We're not going to do it on Nightmare unless somebody redeems Nightmare mode. Which Jup redeemed earlier. Thank you very much for that. That was that was interesting. That was interesting. So we're gonna do Maple, and then we're gonna do um, Me uh, Willow, which is one of my favorite maps. Maple can be kind of difficult because it's so big. Looks like the power is behind the. Power is behind the um, bathrooms. So we're gonna go hit that right off the bat. Oh, I thought I forgot. I thought I forgot the key. It would have been a catastrophe. I've never seen this thing spawn here. Sometimes the Ouija board will spawn on this shelf. So Maple is an interesting map. I believe, I believe this is a hiding spot, friends. I'm not sure, but I believe that is a hiding spot. Some marshmallows. Um, I'm pretty sure that, that you can hide, like, here as well. I think you can hide really behind any of the picnic tables. I think it breaks line of sight, and the ghosts don't search there. Hope everybody's enjoying themselves. I hope uh, uh, Nims, you enjoy that pizza, and Ari is enjoying some um, some kimchi. A little jealous. My uh, I, I I don't do a lot of kimchi, but there is. Um, pretty sure this is hiding spot as well. I don't do a lot of kimchi. There was a Korean restaurant just down the way from me, uh, but they cool. Didn't disappear, so not a phantom. Let's not look at him too much. Let's get out of line of sight. Let that ghost event end. We got the bone. We got a three-star ghost photo. We should get EMF four. And no more, no less. So, unless it's dissipated. 
Yeah, it's already dissipated, it looks like. But we found our ghost. Uh, the key for this door, it's locked. It's under here. We got ourselves a summoning circle. Okay, as far as hiding spaces go, I think, can you hide here maybe? I'm not sure if you can hide here. I think you can. I think that is a hiding spot. I also think, I think you can hide behind this thing, behind this chair. I'm not sure though. Alright, I don't know why I'm up here, there's really nothing else. We got the bone, we got the summoning circle. We know where our spooky ghost is, it's in this area, kind of. That was a crunch. So, one thing about Phasmo is they change your sandy burn based on map types. So larger maps like Willow, you actually drain sandy slower, which is nice. Willow, or, well, I said Willow, campsite. <laughs> campsite, uh, school, asylum. Your sandy drains slower than on the uh, smaller maps. Which is kind of cool. See, we still have 82% sanity, even though we witnessed a ghost event. Also, your sanity drains slower in single player uh, when you're when you're alone. So the sanity drain is much higher when you have multiple people playing. I think it's doing stuff. I don't know what it's doing. Look around for some Orbis. I don't see any Orbis. So, um, before stream, um, actually Arya was playing, um, Arya was playing Fallen Order, Fallen Order, which is one of my favorite games. One of my favorite games. So I was playing, I was watching, uh, Star Wars Rebels before stream. I love that show. But yeah, I was, I was feeling a very Star Wars mood. We, we do play Fallen Order here, so we'll, we'll, we'll play it again at some point. Not seeing any dots, but looking for dots might be kind of silly. Uh, crucifixes are silly. Let's go ahead and grab another cam. We have no evidence, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Get some pills up. We're going to do another dots projector and another... Um, book. Another book. Increase the chance of getting book. Did you? Are you here as well? Are you twins? Because I swear I didn't. I swear it did this door and I did not. I 
think we may have a twin situation on our hands. That'd be extremely unpog the ghost. Alright, let's go ahead and look around the cabin as well for dots. Oh, there's dot or uh, orbs. Orbs right there. Boom. Nice big juicy orb. Does that knock off tons? Hopefully it does. It does knock off tons. Good. Good, good, good. So the ghost has to be here in this area. The orbs will change locality. That also knocks off Gorio, which dots can only be seen through the camera. So we don't have to worry about that. We can see dots with our naked eye. I really do like some of the new Star Wars stuff. I know a lot of people, uh, that's a hot take. But I'm an enjoyer of Rebels. I'm an enjoyer of Book of Boba Fett. I'm an enjoyer of um, uh, Mandalorian. I think Mandalorian is one of the few I actually enjoyed the music. A lot of the new Star Wars music was pretty, wasn't wasn't doing it for me. Jedi Fallen Order has excellent music, though. But it's, it's mostly soundtrack music, though. So one thing with it, it's, it's, it's impossible not to like the soundtrack music. If you're an enjoyer of Star Wars. Let's go search for some... Uh, oh, we're going in. We're going in with the uh, these creases, which will probably be useless. We're going in anyways. Let's search for some spirity box. I um I, I found an appreciation for westerns, uh, for American westerns, when I was in college. I never really watched westerns, and I had a teacher. Um, well, we got writing. Nice. I had a teacher who introduced me to westerns. Uh, well, not introduced me, but got me into westerns. I, I never really kind of watched them much, but I, I took a, a class, um, a couple film classes. Writing, not spirit box. Okay, so it can be spirit box. Where are you? There we go, we got a mare. That was easy. Um... We do need to test for mimic. Yeah, I took a I took a couple film classes, and in it I gained an appreciation for American westerns. Um, I also gained an appreciation for Japanese samurai films through that. So, the the film Seven Samurai is one of my favorite films. We watched Seven Samurai. We watched Magnificent Seven. And Magnificent Seven is a, <laughs> today it would be considered a um, shameless, a shameless rip, but back then it was considered an homage, and it's, it's, it is considered an homage. It is beautiful how well you can transplant um, an Edo period samurai film to the American West. Um, almost scene for scene, you can exchange the katana for the Colt 45 um, and it works it's not no, nothing's forced nothing's forced <laughs> so I really love like the Mandalorian that that uh, western feel that they have to it that also kind of western music where you have that hero theme which is something that's very Star Wars as well um, but you have that hero theme that kind of lone gunslinger thing going they did a really good job of Mandalorian in that, in that regard alright so it, the reason why we got a test for the mimic we got spear box which is one of the mimics uh, evidence items Hey, 
Hey, ReZeros. Model looks good. Thank you so much. I love I love it. Uh, Marky Evan is my artist and rigger, and he he killed it. He killed it. It it looks so good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, hold on. Zero. Re zero. There we go. Uh, also, my friend, where is your VIP badge? been remiss. I thought I'd give you a VIP badge, but I've been remiss, and now you have one. Welcome. Welcome, friend. All the homies are coming out tonight. All the homies are coming out tonight. Yes, uh, my model, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um... Marky killed it. He killed it. Good to see you. Good to see you. I can't wait to see you streaming again. Uh, sometimes we're gonna have to we're gonna have to link up. I'll, I'll, I, I'm, I do want to link up sometime. Uh, I don't know exactly when. Um, hopefully this summer. Maybe sometime there in the year. Maybe sometime next summer, but we need to link up sometime. That's going to be cool. Um, had kind of a chaotic... Summer's been kind of chaotic for me. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. But that's okay. Um, yeah, welcome. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Can't wait to see you stream again. Looking forward to it. Enjoy your VIP badge, my friend. Where is my... What am I doing here? Okay. We already have the ghost, right? We have the ghost. It's a mare. Sheesh. I think I... Did I hit save? I hit save on that, right? I am extremely scuffed, so wait a minute. That's the wrong re-zero. Hold on a second. What is this? I'm I'm bad at this. There's a re-zero without the S. Hold up, okay. Let me get this right. There we go. Okay, VIP, save. There we go. There we go. Now you should, now you should have the, a proper attire, my friend. What else do we need from this ghost? We need a candle, we need... Oh, that's gonna be hard because it's raining. So the candles blow out automatically when it's raining. We need to smudge it and we need to EMF it. EMF yeah, it. Let's go ahead and grab our candle and a smudge. Oh, actually the rain doesn't affect my candle. That's new. Alright, but now you should have your your proper attire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know 
where the light is in here. There it is. Oh, you turn off the power. What a jerk. What a stinky ghost. So smelly. Sweaty ghost. Taking the book so I can get a picture of it. Get some more illumination from that light. Turn on our illuminator. Need a whoa, what the heck was that? I teleported. I might be a ghost. I might be a good what the what? Wait, is there a glitch? Is this a glitch? Hold on, hold on. What is going on? Why am I teleporting? Release me. Okay, something is wrong. What's going on? What is that? What is, is that a glitch? There's a new glitch? Okay, I could get out then. Okay, so I did this. I tried to put the book down. What the heck? Why was I teleporting? I, I don't know what happened. The ghost, is, the ghost is messing with me. It didn't want me to get the picture of the book. Okay. We got our picture of our book. We got um, the ghost. We need EMF. EMF. We need to repel. We need to blow out the candle. Candle, EMF. We should be able to get EMF. It's been throwing all kinds of stuff. Turn out the power. Oh, if we run, I don't know if we can make it though. We should be able to get EMF off the generator, but we probably won't get there in time. We're gonna give it the old college try though. I apologize for the darkness. I just kind of know where I'm going. I know these roads. Light source. Here. Oh. 
so we're just waiting for the ghost to do something. Do something, ghost. This ghost is low-key kind of boring. Are you still here? Are you still haunting? So we wanted it goes to do something, turn off a light, um, do something spooky, knock over a bottle. Blow out a candle. Oh, did you blow out this candle? No, you didn't. This candle's still lit. Mirrors can only turn lights off, so that's why I have the lights on, because it can't interact with the light switches if they're off. This ghost has changed locations. I might need to grab a thermometer. Problem is the thermometers are really hard to use on Willow. Or Willow. Why do I keep saying Willow? This is not Willow, this is a campsite. But we're gonna just leave. Here's what we're gonna do. I can't believe I survived. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, it's gotta be done, right? Oh, it's done. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I survived that. Okay, we got everything but blow out the candle. We're not gonna get blood out of the candle. This is a massive jerk. But we got our mare. We got our. We got our mare. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here, friends. What the heck is that noise? I got. I don't know what's going on. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. Alright. So, now it's time for Willow. We got the mare. I was... I, I, I was dead. I was dead. But the game spared me. Let's uh, let's let's start up a willow. This is one of my favorite maps. It's it can be a very, it's a, it's a it's a map you can knock out really quick, but it's really cool. I love the hiding spots in willow. I always love the hiding spots in willow. 
And I think we're gonna we're gonna see more maps like below where we don't get lockers, we don't get the typical hiding spots that we see on one of the other maps. It's not like other maps. <laughs> Refreshing, refreshing. Let's grab our key. We have Heather Anderson. Let's grab a bu 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 bu, uh, EMF and a bu 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 camera. Didn't even look where the power is. Don't care. There's only two places to be. We got some thunder. Let's get a tarot. Tarot card? No, no tarot card. Keep who said. Power. On. We got a bone. Bam. We got a great hiding spot here. Bam. Show me a Ouija board. Bam. What's your favorite room? What's your favorite room? Where are you? Wait. Goodbye. Oh, there goes. Wiggle the door. Which door? Hmm. Heard it wiggle the door. Let's get out of here and check our sanity. Or it hunts. For a demon, that could have been very, very dangerous. But it's a hallway ghost. Already down to 43 or 53%. So. Yeah, very dangerous. But worth. We know where it's at. That's what I like about Willows. You could just bam, 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 knock it out. Great map. We got the Ouija board, we got the bone right off the bat. Figure out where the ghost is immediately. We got orbs. See them, uh, we'll get closer. We'll get a good, yeah, right there. Kind of contrasted behind the wall right in front of us. Yeah, just kind of floating. Hit a door, let's grab that. Camera, dot, dot. Hit this door, and it turned on the light. Oh, no longer. Dang it. Okay, so it turned on this light, so we know it's not a mirror. Mirrors cannot turn on lights. Nope, they cannot do that. It's against the rules. And you know the rules. Do, 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 do. Jangle another door. But I don't see any doors. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're fine. Let's go ahead and look for dots. Or not dots. Yeah, dots. Uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and do orbs. I honestly like the green for dots more than the white. The white for orbs, but the green for dots. Okay, not seeing anything so far. Let's grab our spirity boxy. The old glow stick of destiny. Another camera. Oh, 
Oh, no, we need this off for the camera to work. Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Okay, nothing so far. Drop these two items. Hmm, what do we got? What do we got? So we got ghost orbs. We still have Obake, so we can't mark off finger. Well, no, we don't have any reason to mark off fingerprints, actually. So we got nothing yet. Blowy. Alright. Let's, uh, let's suppose here. Let's suppose. Actually. I need to refresh. I, I don't know these new ghosts too well. New ghosts. Um, Fays have been known to rapidly age over time, even in the afterlife. From what we've learned, they seem to deteriorate faster within the presence of living. Strength. Excuse me. Upon entering location, they will become active, defensive, and agile. They will weaken over time, making them weaker, slower, and less aggressive. So Thays are among the fastest, among the fastest ghosts in the game. Not the fastest, but they're up there when they're first hunting. As time goes on, they um, they become slower. If you ask them how old they are on the Ouija board, their age will change and they will get older as the match goes on. Which is pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna do Chrissy. We don't need, we, we just took pills, so we're good. Smudges, we don't need to take smudges in yet. Uh, what did you touch? What did you touch? Okay, that and that. This door. Oh my gosh, you are so. Mm. Let's look for fingerprints, though. No fingerprints on this door. So if we can rule out Obake, we can rule out fingerprints. EMF is, is dying so quickly though. There are creatures there. We're just gonna take a. This should be. 8.1. There we go. 17. 15. That's good. So we should see the temperature drop right now. It did not. You said you were a hallway ghost, did you lie? Okay, 20 in here. I'm lost, I'm lost. What the heck? Oh, the door's the other way now, I'm sorry. They changed the, the way the doors open. The direction they open. 21, interesting. So are you now, did it move to the kitchen? I'm so confused where this ghost is. You're in the garage? You lied to me. Okay, so yeah, we're getting like two degrees in here. Not freezing, so it moved to the garage. So we're gonna mark off freezing. Obake is still on the board. Wait a second. We had orbs in here though. Or 
just start throwing with the power. If it's in the garage, we should have orbs in here now. Yep, we do. Yep, we have orbs now in the garage, so it moved. What a jerk. Okay. So, let's move... Crucy. So what we'll do is we'll move one, we'll put one Crucy kind of here, other Crucy kind of here, I guess. Yeah. No, I actually like that spot. Let's ask some questions. Ghost, I have questions. There's my questioning box. There we go. Where are you? <sighs> Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? How old are you? What do you want? Where are you? Next to me, huh? jangle our way out of here. We have we have ghost orbs, we have spirit box making a mare or yokai again. Um, so writing or empty fingerprints can be M. So dots. Writing or dots. There is dots. We have ourselves our yokai. Alright, what do we need? Escape, prevent, cleanse. Easy. Easy. Do a little shovel running back here. Prevent cleanse. The bone, we got the Ouija board. So we can, you can always cleanse during a hunt. So there's really, since we have to escape, there's really no purpose in, uh, Wasting a smudge. Can you chill? I think that still counts, right? No, I, I effed it up. I effed it up by turning it back on. Well then, I'm a huge dummy. Oh well, that's fine. So there's no point in smudging until we actually get hunted. I 
I don't know if that was what it moved. Pretty sure it wiggled, wiggled the cock. How are you not stepping in the soul? I see you going through the dots like a maniac. Where are you? Are you here? What do you want? Can you hunt? Where are you? so we can see the uh, feet better when we get feet. Come on, that was not a ghost event. That was not a... There was an hour between when it turned off the light and when the ghost event hit. I'm getting robbed. I'm getting robbed. Pretty sure that was a hunt. No, it wasn't a hunt. It was the ghost just being a jerk. Honestly, I hate this ghost. This is the worst ghost I've ever seen. the worst. I hate everything about you, Ghost. You are actually the worst. Like, how, how are you, like, probably not going to count. Oh, it did count. Nice. That counted. Legitimately the worst ghost in all of Phasma. <laughs> Is that a real hunt? <laughs> Pretty sure that's a real hunt. No way you know where I am. There's no way you know. Okay, good. Honestly, the worst ghost I've ever encountered. You get no stars on Yelp. Disgusting. I'm not even going to get the last photo because I don't even care. Don't even care. I mean, I guess we could. We could just do this. Yeah, I mean, might as well. Since we have a Ouija, we have the Luigi board. We can get the last photo, even though this game has been ruined by this ghost's treachery. Disgust. You disgust me. Just in case this ghost be becomes disgusting, I'm gonna do that. Grab that. Shouldn't hunt, but. How old are you? How old are you? Goodbye. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, we got it. You don't need to say goodbye. Disgusting. Disgusting.
Alright, friendos. You know what? You know what? We got the okay. We got it. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We're gonna we're gonna play one more, I think. We're gonna play one more. Give me one second here though. Mm -mm. We're gonna do one time for the one time. Clear out some stuff here though, real fast. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Zutulos, what is this? Alrighty, already. Let's do one time for the one time. See if we can get to that. We got to the three hour mark. But but let's see if we can let's see if we can get a little bit further. Let's see if we can go beyond. Alright. Ooh. Let's do a we haven't done brown brownstone in a minute. Let's do that brownstone. At high school. Donald Alexander. I've got nothing else to report, unfortunately. The power is that little green box. Uh, left side underneath the stairs. Let's mm -mm -mm -mm. go say hi to Donald. So, one thing about the large maps is they generally try to put the first item near the entryway. Not always, but they generally do. So let's see if we can find it. Boom. Easy mode. I'm doing it. Doing it, chat. What's your favorite room? What's your favorite room? Where are you? C-A... C-L-A... See, class, room. Which one? Two. Goodbye. Run, 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 run. Classroom two. Or classroom twenty-two. So you have to use a guide to find all this because I don't know where all the classrooms are. Do that, but that t took us all the way down to 56. Bam, pill up. 85. Okay. So, let's find out where classroom 22 is real fast. Look up a handy dandy classroom map. See, I'm looking at the classroom map. So, classroom two is right in the entry right to the left. Is there a classroom 22? There is. So, 22 is left side top. So, it's either. I can bring this up, I guess. Get these ads. Am I doing anything? Okay, no. So, 
it's either this uh, classroom here, classroom 2, or it's classroom 22, which is on the second floor. Very active right now. Let's uh, take in some other stuff. Bop, bop, bop. We're gonna go camera mode. We're gonna go sicko mode. This is not classroom two, but we're gonna look for orbs. Sometimes the the um, orbs will bleed through to the adjacent classrooms. So if you think you have the glow room, always check the adjacent classrooms for orbs. Anything apologize for the darkness. Hopefully, you guys can see on the camera. I think I just heard something. I swear I just heard something, but it's gonna be impossible to tell with the uh, all the stuff that's already on the floor. This is classroom 22. Okay, nothing so far. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop what we have. That was this that was this room, wasn't it? Yep, it's in here. Oh, just wrote in the book. Can I put this down? I just heard it right in the book. There's the book. Okay, so we got book. And I cannot see anything. Holy crow. Sorry about the uh, lack of vis uh, visibility. Am I going the right direction? I feel like I'm not. Again, sorry about that. I was going, no, I wasn't going the right direction. Here we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was going a little sicko mode there. Alright, so we got writing. We got the ghost room. We're going to pelt up. We're going to take a photo of this book. Because that's worth some money. Yeah, we're gonna pill. She goes back at nearly a hundred. Yeah. There we go. We didn't see any orbis. We'll go with uh ghost ray. Is off the board so we would be able to see with our naked eye any dots so we can go back in with the dots let's go to the spirit box 
we're gonna go in with this and go stick of destiny. So it was classroom 22, which is nice. So it could have been 2 or it could have been 22. You just never know with the, uh, with the Ouija board on this map when you could have that sort of setup. Where are you? Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Are you close? Are you here? I'm close. Map three. He is close. useless. I want this light. Alright, we got Spirity Boxu. We got Spirity Boxu. We got writing. Spirit, Poltergeist, Mare. Ooh, Diogen's on the board. And a Morai. That's some more. This is what we need. We need motion sensor and we need photo. So we have five ghosts. We have one, two, three, four, five. So it can literally be anything. But probably not freezing. Probably not freezing. Also, I mean, dots is so weird. Or not dots. Um, well, dots is weird. But orbs is also weird. Let's go ahead and grab a motion sensor. Go ahead and knock that off the board. That's a moron. Touch the door. Did you uh, leave any greasy fingerprints? See any greasy fingerprints? So I close that door intentionally. see over here as well. I like to put them in these classrooms that are adjacent to each other because sometimes the ghost will be a jerk and spawn in the cl one classroom over. Where's my EMF? Just through something. Throwing stuff. Just throw him a three. Through the biology book, you don't like biology? Oh, you turn off this light. Did you leave any uh, 
Sauce? No sauce. I hear it throwing like crazy. I'm thinking poltergeist. I hear it throwing like crazy. So poltergeist do they they they, they like to fro. They fro. So what's the what's the thing with poltergeist? With your fingies. Hmm. That's a little sus. But it seems like it's poltergeist. It, it could be that we just didn't get there in time to get the fingerprints, but I feel like we did get there in time to get the fingerprints. Wait a minute. Oh no, okay. it's, it's very bright for some reason. Let's rule out freezing temperatures. Only motion sensor. What is Diogen? Diogen is going to be dots. I don't think it's going to be a Diogen. We should have. I felt like we should have had dots by now. Diogen would be very easy on school, but if you don't know it's a Diogen, you're kind of in trouble. I guess we could just treat it like a Diogen because the only thing that can run it down is a mare or a mare, a mori. So if we if we get cornered, I mean if we don't get cornered, if we're able to kite, we should be more than okay to just kite around the map. Six degrees, four point five, two point three, yeah, four point five. So it should jump up here. Thirteen, yeah. We're gonna roll out freezing. So it's not a Morai, so we can outrun anything. Step in the salt. Do it now. Do it, do it. Kill me now. Do it. Come on. Ghost is like, this isn't even my room. My room is next door. Which is probably true. It's a, room, 21, room 22 is actually at next door, but it's been doing everything in here. One time for the one time. You're not gonna do it, are you? You can't do it. Because you're a jerk. You're a huge douche. Alright. Did you turn off this light again? Oh, I can't find light. Where's the light? Where's the light? Where's the light? Ah. Oh, where is the light? Why does this UV provide negative light? Oh, it didn't. It turned off the power. I really need to get a uh, flashlight up here. So, EMF 5. Let's go. Let's go. back on I apologize I'm, I'm just playing by feel so I know that's probably not as compelling to the folks in the chat so kind of how you have to play well no, it's kind of how I play school 
We got EMF5, which makes it a boring spirit. Disgusting. Force ghost. Delete this ghost. Yeah, I, I play I play school by feel a lot because I just you need you need to mule a lot of items in, and uh, it's kind of a waste to mule in a flashlight. We still have not gotten the motion sensor. So we can at least do that. And this time we'll bring a flashlight so everybody can see. Make sure everybody can see. Doing some multitasking. What the heck was that noise? Is it downstairs now? If you've come downstairs, I'm going to punish you. We are going to have words. Do not do this to me, ghost. I came all the way back here to put some stupid motion sensors. still here. I heard you throw that book. Yeah, you're still in here. Oh, uh, Yubi, where you at? Yubi, come here. I need you. Why are you way down here? Who put you way down here? No. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I'm an absolute buffoon. Wow. Legit worst ghost hunter in the game. Absolute buffoon chat. All right, well we got our we got our ghosts. It's a spirity, spirity sancti. Mm. It was a uneventful. It's an uneventful game. Ghost didn't manifest. Ghost didn't have any maidens. No hunts. But we got our we got our ghost. Let's get our money. Let's take our money in. Let's be let's be grateful for our money. We got our spirit, we got our money. I mean, that to me is pretty good, I think. It's good enough for me, no one died. I didn't die. Nope, not me. Well, friendos. Uh, I think that's a, I think that's a Phasma. That's a Phasma game. I think we did pretty good. We got some good hunts, we died one time. Uh, unfortunately, we had one friend die as well. Jup died once. Very sad. But uh, I think we did pretty good. Uh, we're going to raid out. And I have a raid target already. Um, I, my friend Missouri Miho, my good friend, is playing... I think he's playing Arkham Origins. And that is the Arkham series. I love the Arkham series. One of my favorite series in all of video gaming. I love Batman. I'm a huge Batman nerd. 
Um, as we all know, I'm a huge Titanic nerd, but I'm also a huge Batman nerd. I love DC. I love the Batman. And I also love my friend Missouri Miho. He is a VTuber, an Admiral VTuber. He's an Admiral of the Fleet. So if you would, please hang out. Get some channel points. You can use those channel points to join the hunt. You can use those channel points to to bother me immensely in Phasma. Actually, it is, I love I love the challenge of when people uh, do the redeems. So stick around, get some channel points. Let's go say hello to the admiral. Uh, give me one second. Let me start this raid up. Again, thanks so much, everybody, for hanging out. Thanks for joining in the game, Jump. Um, thanks for the sub, um, uh, Derek. Uh, and just thanks for all the, uh, everybody hanging out and having a good time. Thanks, ReZeros, for coming by. Thanks, Nims, for coming by. Thanks, Ari. Um, thanks, Aria. Uh, Sintomi so lit. I hope everybody enjoyed the hope everybody enjoyed the stream saturday uh tomorrow we will not be streaming most likely unless i do like a gorilla stream i don't know if i will be doing a gorilla stream but we most likely won't be uh streaming tomorrow we will be streaming saturday call of duty ghost i'll be playing the single player of ghost for the first time i'm looking forward to that uh, we had a great time playing black ops 2 one of my favorite streams was that black ops 2 stream so hopefully ghosts goes as well or better but uh, I hope to see you guys on Saturday. Da, da, da. Let's go say hello to my good friend, Missouri Miho. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.